Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hut of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Alpha Bio Omega and the Empire of Japan. So in the last episode uh, we have done a couple of things which we are going to investigate in just about a second. But I wanted to start this episode by actually looking at the current casualties because you guys seem to be interested in that, asking me a lot about it and um, I realized that I'm checking it but most most of cam, uh, whenever I start the game, I just check what we're doing, you know, where our units are to kind of refresh about it because for you it might seem like a continuous stream, but for me there's sometimes days between uh, the episodes. So, uh, currently we are starting to see that our field and manpower is vastly superior to the one that the enemy has. We have roughly, and you know, this, this is a conjecture, but uh, I always tend to co and compare the numbers by uh, just adding them together. So this would be 25 divided by 2, so we have roughly 12.5 million, uh, while they have about 11 million of men. We lost 5.13 million, while they lost nearly 16.5 million. Our casualties are climbing though, quite significantly we've been um, locked in heavy fighting with India. We lost 375, 371,000, uh, 372,300 men, and they have lost, where are they, Dominion of India, over here, they lost uh, 1 million troops to us, okay, so at least we're causing them more casualties than they are causing to us. Uh, they are actually 5% towards capitulation, which is making me really happy. Factory-wise, uh, I wish there was a total number here. It doesn't really show that much. I mean, Axis... Yeah, this is stupid. I cannot read it if that's 3.46, so... I uh, can't really comment on the factory counts, but I think we might be overwhelming them. Yeah, I mean, they do have more factories for sure, because just the United States have roughly, what, 1.8 thousand? Uh, but on the other hand, um, the way we uh, use our factories seems to be a bit more effective. And I wanted to also say that Soviet Union is 93% towards capitulation, so we need just a little bit more, and we'll get them. Here's Nizhnevartovsk, which is a very valuable city that I missed before, so I'm going to start by actually sending you guys right there. We want to take it. You guys are gonna attack these and you're just gonna march. These are all marshes, so that is just horrifyingly poor, but yeah. Okay, time to do a major revision of our strategies. So I'm gonna start uh, by looking here. Our forces are preparing for the invasion of uh, Guadalcanal, which is the last part of the Solomon Islands that we are not, uh, you know, controlling. After that, I have decided that we are going to send... Oh, this is all owned by our ally. Okay. So after that, we are going to uh, take this island over here, which is called Johnston... Uh, Johnston? Johnston, okay. Johnston Atoll. I was thinking it would be Johnston's Atoll, but Johnston Atoll. And that's going to be a prerequisite to an attack on Hawaii. Once we take Hawaii, we will go down here to take the Wine Islands, uh, but Hawaii needs to go first because it will allow us to create an effective uh, barrier here. Bering Sea, Central North Pacific, Hawaii Ridge, and Pacific Line Ridge, denying uh, United States. The, con you know, the ability to send units all the way to us. Now, there is still um, this little fleet base that they might have, but we're going to have to take control of that one afterwards as well. I don't think that they will defend uh, the one islands too well. Kind of just thinking about there's so many islands. In the meantime, we're going to fight the enemy over here. They sank another submarine uh, near Brisbane, which... Really makes me fume. But the good news is that now that we have Port Moresby, 
uh, our units can actually go closer. This is uh, French Republic. Yeah, that's an enemy as well. Uh, so many goddamn little islands. Either way, our units are converging on these forces over here. So we'll destroy the last Australian division, which is the second armor division here, and we'll control the entirety of Papua. Uh, actually, I'm thinking we have 283 political power. Could we get someone good here? Naval air attacks from carriers, innovation preparation time, sort the efficiency. I guess we're gonna go with Chuichi Nagumo, who increases naval attack from carriers, uh, naval air attack to be precise, naval air targeting, and air agility from carriers. So let's put him there. So that means we get full um, officer core. We still have 100 to upgrade the bracket if we need to. But so far we're doing good, we're actually gaining more manpower as we speak. Okay, so this is done. Uh, now the proverbial Soviet trap, where we are just going everywhere. You all are yep, just yep, the defensive forces. You're a reserve army, so you just go over there. Which one of you is going here? You are. So you just go here and then there. They could cut you off if you move there. That's kind of interesting to see. Well, just need to march. So Nizhnevartovsk is going to be taken. You are attacking, moving you guys over here. You've attacked and taken this area, so you move here. Actually, you guys are going to move there. You're going to go over here. And they really don't have... Too many ways how to stop us. We just keep on trucking. We're retreating, huh? Okay, well, the general vacating the premises telling me pretty much that they don't have any reserve forces to send against us. So we just need to keep the pressure on and they will collapse. It's, it's just a matter of time, really. Okay, so they actually emptied this area as well. Mm hmm. Sinkiang Garrison. I think we might be able to take these guys. Yep. Okay, so they're gonna fall. Here it's just, you know, the AI doing its stuff. And the bad part, the bad part is the attack on Bhutan. Because we are going to lose this. And the reason why is that while we are winning these two battles, they are actually winning the attack on our forces down here. And there is little to no way we can save this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to send all of you over there in hopes that we can do something here. We're sending reinforcements. I'm going to send three more divisions over there. We're just gonna have a reinforce it because we're gonna be most likely pushed out of there. Uh, we do have a lot of troops over here, so we're gonna reinforce there as well. Yeah, we need to strengthen this entire area because while well, we are so close to winning this, and we are not gonna win this, unfortunately. So we'll just let it go for as long as possible, and then we're gonna send our forces back. You guys are still drilling. The second Rikusanda, I could actually... No, I mean, I can... We know that we can now 
Let's put them so I can send you here. Oh, and by the way, someone asked me some long time ago whether or not we can grant citations to our units. Yes, we can, as you can see, but each one of them costs political power. Political power, we do not have, and that we're saving for various other things, like increasing the walls. There was never really a point in which I would be willing to invest this. Well, I know that it would help those units, just 15 political power is way too much. Okay, on that side, I think we can unpause it and just go. So we're trying to launch a counter-attack here. Yeah, we're already breaking. Okay, stop here. Yep, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, a really bad choice. And we lost two submarines here. God damn it, what kind of superhuman forces they have here? Uh, wait, it's the airfield. I need to go over there. Uh, you can get a. Well, we're the training army. Or training navy, I mean, huh? And you are the leader. Of the training navy as well. <laughs> Those are the two only leaders that can. Oh no, wait, you can also. The leader of the submarines. So let's get you a seasoned spotter. That's gonna benefit you. And. Okay, we're winning this one, we're advancing. Interesting down here. Hmm. I can do this. You guys are moving forward. It means you guys can actually move forward to. Yep, advancing everywhere. I think, I mean, Yunivartovsk is probably not the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back, but it is definitely going to move us significantly closer to this. And you know what? Screw this. If you attack us, then we're gonna attack you as well. I mean, my plan was to encircle this whole time, but if they decide that they will not allow us to do that, well, we can still kill you all in the good old way. Okay, getting the last areas. Submarine is repairing. Guys are going. So how's it going here? Will we? I mean, I'd be happy if we at least manage to keep this area for ourselves. Oh great! You know, actually, not only have we been pushed back, we've been pushed back so severely. That it hurts. Did we just pass this to? We did pass this to see. Um, that's interesting. Okay, and we got a free dockyard because we finished an Agi Akigumo Shiratsu class refit the destroyer and a Kaidai class submarine. Okay, you guys can reinforce this, and you guys. And the first of the Hiroshima class light cruisers that we can use. Awesome. Well, here are the spotters. Let's send you over here. 
And I think I'm gonna assign you. Okay, you can actually go over here, and I'll assign you for now to this fleet. Excavation four. Isn't that just amazing? That gives us a ton of extra resources. A ton of extra iron. So we can stop importing so much. And then putting in a box set, rubber. Importing a ton of aluminum though, unfortunately, but that will always be there. What can you do? And with excavation 4, I have a distinct feeling we can go straight up to excavation 5. Or we could go with chemical industry 4. Which will give us factory output plus 5%, efficiency production cap of 3%, lowers the lack of resources penalty by 2%, we get extra supply. That is an easy choice. And we got a free dockyard. So I reorganized a bit what we are constructing. So we're constructing two Hiroshima class scout cruisers or scout light cruisers. And we're building one, two, three, four, five, six Kaidai 7A class submarines. And we're building one, two, three, four, five, six Kageros. So let's focus on submarines a bit more for now. Because we're barely replacing the ones that we lose. And once we get those under control, we are going to focus more more on Oh please, please tell me you you catch them. <laughs> no, we lost three subs. And it was all completely worthless. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, like, just, like, if you could hold for an hour more, they would have come. You know you can support this, right? That's gonna make it way nicer. Okay, I'm defending against literally everyone. Okay, are we advancing? We are. I feel like I might want to leave these two divisions over here. But I'll send the heavy one over there. That is not an issue. Okay, well, you did it to yourself. Foreign peace deal. Sure. Why not? So how's that offensive towards Nizhnevartovsk? Okay. Now that's peculiar. Okay, well, they're actually heavily entrenched in the forest and attacking the mirror. It's a garrison division. Jesus Christ. How much of a penalty are we getting from this? Okay, housing gives us another point one available population for the needs of the army. And we can go with housing four, but I think I'm gonna go first with hospital three which will lower division attrition by 3%. Believe it or not, attrition is really awful. Okay, get in there. Oh my god, look at how many forces there moving around. How did this one unit get there so fast? Let's get forward scout or something. Yep, 
I'm dancing everywhere. Uh, this one is a bit too ugly for comfort. Spy is okay here? It is. Okay, no. anything in these great plains that would be Akmolinsk. Don't even know that city, but I'll assume it is lovely. So you guys can go in here. And just continue. Okay, and we'll go this way. Okay, I'll need reinforcements for the Nizhnevartovsk attack. You guys just not doing anything, I love that. Okay, you're taking these territories, which are relatively worthless, but still pretty good. I mean, clay is clay, as they say. Okay, we're starting to reinforce. Look at the damage that we're doing here. Really nice. Just need to find an opportune moment for the attack. Okay, you guys can go over here and I'll assign you to the Mountaineer army. I'm gonna try it again then. Just no better way to do this. Okay, more steel is needed. I have a feeling like considering all we know. Well, no, we're importing even iron. So it's not like um, we can do much here. I can actually save up a bit more factories. Oh, and I think, yeah, we finished the upgrades to the army department uh, of our secret service. Sing some more transports. Okay, well, these destroyers are the bane of our existence yet again. We have engine and artillery production capacity and air. So how about we put you on the white fighters? That ought to help with the severe deficit. Okay, we've eliminated you and Papua is now ours. And so is The city of Guadalcanal. I'm gonna go, go over the two industrial farms. So there's food here, I guess. And not that. Well, 10, yeah. So I'm gonna get some food, which is great. Food is always good. Okay, I'm being attacked again. And these mountainers are just so annoying. Guys, get in here. And this is your fight. I really want you to see how important this is for you. Oh, come, come the hell on. I'm not going to do this again. Especially now. 
we'll just cause it by hand if we have to. Okay, finished another submarine. Finished another Hiroshima, so let's assign it to the respective fleet. We got another submarine, so let's send it over here. Yeah, that fight was lost again. Okay, would the Badao Canal be closer? I don't think so. Yeah, not really. So we're spreading out. Oh, this one is also or Yeah, god damn it. So many islands. So many little islands everywhere. Oh, and actually leading troops here as well. Okay, so how about we launch a counter attack? First, air fleet. Really nice. We're getting progressively better at this carrier stuff. Naval innovations. Naval designer and white carriers. And there was one that actually. Oh, this one. Anti air innovations, which requires naval innovations. Okay, let's get those and then remove that pesky penalty. Now that the Navy is the recognized premier service of the Empire, it befits us to devote more resources to the design of the new ship classes. So we get Mysore Naval Arsenal as a naval designer. And we get Navy Experience plus 50, that's amazing. And a bunch of bonuses to naval shell designs, torpedoes, and light and heavy cruiser designs. Well, looking good. We're still being transported, you guys are still driving. I was looking up here, okay? Nizhnevartovsk has been pretty much abandoned. Same as this area. Oh! I didn't even notice we've encircled you here. Well, that's cool. This is probably not going to be enough, right? Yeah, it won't. But I mean, this will. So let me just eliminate this poor division. Which is, you know, not equipped anymore. And you can attack together, and in this case, it is going to be more than enough. You attack over here. You guys can go here and continue grabbing that territory. Okay, so what's going on in here? Oh my god. It's another great push, but we got this area in the meantime. Do we have more mountainers coming? We do. Uh, you can actually get in here. So can you. You guys are already moving over there, because we might even close it through here. While well, they're focusing on where we're really not. Okay. So you guys are almost done. Um, you were... Oh, you were supposed to go here. And then here, 
uh, but you didn't because we have a border here. That is kind of cute, but absolutely unnecessary. Santa Isabel Island. Interesting. Well, okay, India. What do you have in store for us? Joint industrial policy. That is pretty good. You guys need to get in here and then you're gonna move northwards as well. Jesus. They're throwing everything they have at us and it's showing. Not that we would be much better in keeping our units alive. Uh, but we don't really have a deficit of anything apart from medium tanks. And there we're also making some progress. Yeah, tank production capacity and steel, this is gonna be taken care of. But we need to get more factories on those tanks eventually. There really isn't anything else that can be done. Why are you guys not attacking? <laughs> and we finished the technologies. Okay, I'm gonna see this as a cue to end the episode here. And in the next one, we're gonna see how valuable Nizhny Bartovsk is 94%. Kubishev? No, they're fighting everywhere but Kubishev. But they're fighting, so I guess maybe the fact that we're sending them fuel is actually doing something. Ah, either way, thank you very much, see you in the next episode.